So for the new members in the community, I'm Genevieve Stafford-Jack. And um, yeah, so I've had the privilege over the last month to be coaching the three winners of the group coaching. And I remember a month ago, actually more than a month ago, five weeks ago, when I, I sat down and I thought during this time, what could I do? And just wanting to be relevant and share with people and share from who I am. You know, people are giving millions that are out there. They're giving from the... Um, from what they're good at giving, you know? So if you've got the millions to give or the billions to give, people are giving from, from where they know. And I decided to start the group and give from where I know, and which is, a, you know, for me, I believe is a superpower. And then I've had the privilege of meeting these three individuals amongst over a hundred people that we trained the first round. And these are the first three that said, pick me. And uh, <laughs> four weeks later, you know, we've had how many sessions so far? Three. Three. So we've had three sessions. The fourth session is coming up in this week. So we really just wanted to come through this evening to encourage everybody and share from the experience that we've had. So we're going to do again another round robin because I'm not the one that wants to talk a lot tonight, although I always want to talk. Okay. These are my confessions. <laughs> You know, the, the, I think for me, the, um, the blessing of, of group coaching has each time I've gone through group coaching, some of my students are actually in the group that I've coached a year ago. In fact, you know, the irony of life, I like these little Facebook reminders. Today, Facebook reminded me that I actually, for the first time, declared out loud, yes, I will go on this path of teaching and coaching. And I remember making this agreement with the universe, if I may say it at, at like that, that I will, I will do it on a small scale. I'll do it in a small percentage of my time because my, you know, I want my business to flourish, but I also want to give back in the way I've been taught to give back. And today having that one, that one year reminder made me think of Antwani and um, the first few guys that had come through my class, Karabo and Dallas, and Jeanette and Ntlantla and I smiled because I'm just thinking each time I've literally met a small group of people from different walks of life also coming in with different strategies each group you know it's just like we've been we've elevated each other in each other's journey so that we can just be a better make and model than we were yesterday so guys that has been absolutely awesome you've shared your nuggets you've shared what you've learned through this particular journey most of all one of the things that you shared Lissetra is something that I wanted to touch on this evening because I really wanted this to be a quick check-in but also the opportunity for the group to see you know what guys it was not just hoo-ha rah-rah making a noise um when I said we're going to do this coaching thing I that group holds me to ransom and I hold the group to ransom. If I haven't done something that I needed to do, they remind me. And when virtual Jenna is silent, Jenna, virtual Jenna is silent, what's going on? Like we prompt each other and we share with each other. And what is so, so awesome, which I remember um, a year ago saying, when I start group coaching, it is not for the fame. It is not for the accolades. It is for people to start connecting with each other. And through this deal, my phone has been blocked. <laughs> We're stocked up with pictures because I just got videos one day, lots of pictures. What, what? And next best thing, Jen, check your email. And there's deals coming through. And what a beautiful picture for, for somebody like myself as a coach to see that everything that I've shared the team has assimilated and taken it to the next step, taken it to the next level. Guys, in fact, now when I started this whole laptop of mine, because I, I, I refrained from it this weekend, I said, oh, Friday night, Tolo sending me numbers. <laughs> ah, okay. Which now means tomorrow, when I start off my day, I'm going to start off my day with an expectation. I'm going to start answering to deals. I'm going to answer and give perspective and we're going to create um, an ad hoc session if we need to, to start going through deals. 
And that for me is the beauty of what comes through in group coaching. And I always say group coaching for me is anything between two or three people to eight. After these three guys, eh, I'm stopping at five. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, wow. I say that in the, with, with all the love in my heart, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love it. So I'm just thinking, you know what, guys, is there anything that you would specifically like to share with the entrepreneurship, property investing and mindset group this evening that is not prompted uh, by a question from me? Because for me, I wanted you to share with them the good, the bad, and the ugly, whatever your experience was. Because tonight, it's not about, hey, we're the greatest. It's tonight, it's about mindset shift, which you guys just so eloquently touched on. Because if we don't focus on the thing that we want, if we don't focus on our end result, we're going to see all these obstacles. And like Lissetia said, obstacles are going to come, undoubtedly. Guys, we don't have all the answers for COVID, but we tap into the power team like Silna Stain who's also on this group and she's actively with other lawyers as well coming together with an alliance talking about how do we handle property and rentals and evictions and all these wonderful things this is the geniuses that we tap into to help direct our path we were dissecting another deal earlier um early was it sometime last week when I said you know what guys just think about it if we were in the normal situation, we would have done one thing, but right now we're not normal. So in the normal circumstance, we just have to take things slightly mm. different. We have to look mm. at it left field, like what are the possibilities? Okay, but anyway, like I said, let me not talk too much because I get carried away. I get super excited and I see the three of you, I get overexcited, like a child eating candy. So <laughs> let me just calm down. <laughs> so I just want to find out from you guys, you know, maybe some parting words. Is there something that you would like to specifically share to the group this evening? And um, we can take it from there. So basically... Oh, so basically, sorry. Jen, oh, sorry. So, so like you said now with this whole COVID thing, okay, when you've got a deal. So we've actually had the deal that we were supposed to sign off, which we're supposed to get the OTPs for. So first of all, um, the, 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 the seller was in another province. So they already, we had this whole big time delay. But in between all of this, we then um, kind of realized that um, with all of this happening, we don't know when the seller will be able to move out of their house should the deal go through, okay? Then would we have enough, the money that we put in ourselves, would we have enough to go over the six months? Because six months is the capped months that we would normally use for the sale of a house to go through after you've bought it. So, so basically that's a flip. Okay. Yeah, our holding, our holding yes. costs. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So, so what I actually did, which I actually sent you a mail, so which means maybe you didn't see it. No, just now I was shocked by some mails. I said, Genevieve, focus. <laughs> <laughs> so all in the yeah. morning, I'm going to start answering all the deals and mails uh, questions, and then I'll move on to business as usual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so, so basically, we, we now dissected that deal now, thinking that, okay, if we cannot actually hold on to this property, even though it has a positive ROI, but for us being beginners, we can't hold on to it. And also as a rental, people can't move in. So the rental doesn't make sense. But for an avid investor that is able to hold a property and maybe either move in there themselves or put a family member in there so that basically is now a sourced deal so we can actually sell that deal on now to someone and let them then hold on to that deal because we know we've got a six-month retainer but over and above that we don't know when COVID is going to allow for anything so we don't want to put ourselves in that predicament and 
as the sector also says, as a team, um, we've now found that, okay, we're all in different areas. I've actually found a property now where I can see that it can actually be turned into a multi-let. And it's in an area where it could either be for um, the, the, the guys that actually, you know, work at the factories and stuff like that. But because we know that is not our strategy to be renting and doing multi-lets, then I know, okay, you know what? I can give that over to Lissetra. Work out the numbers because there's back rooms, there's the house and everything. And it needs a bit of work. And, and the, 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 the cost for that is not that high. And also the price for, for what it's selling for is not that high as well. So now I'm on top of my mind is, huh, Lissetra does multi-lets and all these things. So once I've done the due diligence for that property, it's where I'm gonna hand it over to him. Then I can sell it to him. So, 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 so that's the dynamics of knowing, being teachable and learning so that you actually know how to go about networking with the people actually closest to you. You don't always need to venture out. And I'll say this again, it's not always about the big guns. You can, amongst yourselves, actually create a little empire. Because once you actually understand each other and seeing that we know what each one does, it makes it easier. And then of course, to end it all, having a good coach like Jen at the end of the day, that makes things so much more simpler. Even if I might add the, the, the numbers tool that she's given us to work from, that is my ultimate best. That thing is so simple. It makes life so much easier because it's, it's like giving a little um, grade one, their first book to read. That, that, that's a little simple storybook, but makes so much sense. So guys, all I'm saying is that if you want to go on this property journey, not because I know Jen for years. I only met Jen on this property journey. Um, she's actually a really dynamic coach. And it's a journey that you will enjoy because she is actually um, a more like one-on-one -on -one type of person. It's not about money. It's not about fame. It's more about where she actually wants to see you. And actually where she gives you these nuggets to know your worth at the end of the day. Guess what? I spoke a lot. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes done. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I must say you had us all captivated and do you want to make me cry? Guys, don't start with me. Gonna make me cry. <laughs> You know, that, that was absolutely beautifully shared, Colleen. I really appreciate that. I also appreciate the words of encouragement because for me, for me, it's a lot of encouragement. Um, and to, to have read me the way you have up until this point, spot on. I'm, I'm, I'm not about let's go and make gazillions out of coaching. No, let's make coaching work for where you are so that we can take it to the next level. So that's awesome, guys. Everyone that is watching, I want to ask you guys, give this post some love. Like it, love it, care it. I see there's even a care button here these days. Why well, would do something? Because if there's anything I know, it's not always difficult for anyone to start talking on, on, on camera, on Facebook, let alone what Colleen just shared. Just I'm like, oh, and she agreed and she wasn't so. So thank you. Kudos to you, Colleen. Really, really appreciate the feedback and you literally putting your heart out there so who who would like to go next i will our flipping queen our <laughs> husband will be last yes our, our husband <laughs> will be last <laughs> so guys i really literally took the time to make snippet notes because i thrive on them um i think the she first does. thing that i <laughs> <She does. laughs> So the first thing for me, um, I call Jenna hot mama. She doesn't know it, but I call her hot mama. Oh, wow. uh, my okay. reason, yes, um, not only because she's beautiful, but because she's hot and filled of knowledge. 
and honesty. She fires what is true and she tell you if she doesn't know something because as I said, nobody should be jack of all trades. If she's, she's not a lawyer, she's not gonna tell you, oh, I know everything about OTP, but she'll mm -hmm. tell you who the perfect person is and she'll connect you to that person, right? And um, there's this speaker, uh, Lisa Lu Ni uh, Nichols, yeah, Lisa Nichols, yes. So she once said, I love, I repeatedly listen to her um, YouTube um, uh, channel, uh, one, actually one of it. And she kept saying, I went to a conference, right? And I decided to join, not because I wanted to go there for a day and then come out and believe that my mindset has, has shifted. She said, I went over and over and over again up until I was recognized by the people in the room to a point whereby I was the speaker at that place. And she says, there are very few, there are very few people that constantly go towards what they want consistently and show people interest, right? Um, so that for me was be in the space of people that want to that want the same things you do because people speak differently. Um, when I do not know better, me owning a block of flats is impossible because I look at my pocket. Um, people like Jenna look at their time and their skills, right? Um, so that's another mindset shift. Um, so the other thing is I always felt, why do I need a mentor? Hey, do, don't you always guys feel like that? I feel like whew, everybody's mentoring, everybody. Actually, I, one of the things that when we met, all of us have been through mentorships. My dear colleagues have paid enough money for like a bond, guys. These guys are like diggity bombs for mentoring, you know? <laughs> and I, I respect that because it taught them something. It shifted them to their next cycle. So for me, it moved from um, what do I need to be my best next person? Because I flipped um, a few properties. I'm flipping one right now, but it wasn't with, it wasn't with a mentor. I was the person that would do numbers 10 times because I didn't have a spreadsheet. Um, I didn't have uh, so much knowledge. I would over, um, over calculate, like put too much into values so that I don't get into trouble. That was my backup plan. But that took me longer because you are hesitant to go into a deal because you don't know enough. Mm. Um, so that's one of the things that being with people that are in the same group, that's why it's important because they can scrutinize your thoughts and tell you the truth. Like they have, they owe you nothing. They want to tell you the truth that you are actually flanking your money or you actually have a great deal. Can I work with you? The second is to have a mentor that will tell you that you guys, I can see where, which direction you're taking. The numbers look good, but I can see a problem here. So that brings me to the next, the next uh, thing that I, the nugget that I'm going to give you to you guys that we learned. You know, you always think sourcing means you're looking for a property. When you see it, it's distressed or needs help, and you're like, "I found my property." You become excited, um, but sourcing goes beyond uh, numbers. It goes. Yes, numbers are important, but it goes beyond that on the thing that you really have to know what you're buying. We don't like taking into account what we're buying. We want to buy money. We don't want to buy knowledge. Um, I know it, it might not make exact sense sometimes, but you don't buy a property. You buy its history. You buy its future. You buy its risk and you become responsible. Literally, yeah. your ID is faced to that uh, property. Um, that's a nugget, so I'm not going to expand much on it. The other thing is negotiation. Oh, my dear, I'm the, I can negotiate, right? Um, but why are you negotiating, guys? Do you understand what that means? Um, because yeah. we spoke about it. Um, one of our people here told me that um, they were in a, a very nice place and they were like, you know when a pineapple costs you 50 bucks, but you don't understand why, right? You negotiate. Um, you're just asking for a lower price. Uh, but what is your reasoning against that? So if you can understand the reasons of, of negotiating, you can actually go from 
probably the person might have given you 35 bucks for the pineapple after it. But if you know your story, you can actually get it for 50% of it. So that knowledge is saving you money again, right? Mm -hmm. And um, the other thing, you know, you I've always heard, um, sorry, I'm, I'm giving a lot because I, I feel like it's time to give Santa Claus, right? Um, right. So the other, <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I have learned um, with my colleagues is people with money, um, I don't know all of them, but I've come to learn their profile. There's this idea that people with money are, are working in property. They are sweating. Guys, they are not sweating. They are investing their money in good places. They don't have the time anymore. The cycle has changed. There are different types of entrepreneurs. Um, there is levels, labels, like really. So there's entrepreneur uh, journey. Um, what I mean by that is that uh, for instance, Lisecha and I, um, I'll give them this nice cake, right? Lisecha and I are going into a property development. Um, is it, yeah, it's a development because we're flipping it up and we purposing it for something different than it is, right? And with the aim of getting it into student accommodation. Hence, him and I are working together because I just want to flip everything. It looks ugly. I want to, you know, I love pretty stuff. That's me. And, and Lisecha is the, the flipping queen. <laughs> <laughs> and Lisa is the guy that says there's a demand. So there's two uh, gaps here we are addressing. We are addressing student accommodation and we are addressing dilapidated buildings that I find can be repurposed into something greater. And when I went, I saw, let's say the building is 20, it's, it's 20 um, rooms that are existing. So Lisa comes over to my home and he makes me realize that actually, there's potential for creating it into 40 uh, without much effort, 40 more, more rooms. And I'm like, okay, the game has changed. So the flip has went from this strategy, the single-minded strategy I had, which is profitable, which has a cash flow that is that will allow Lisa and I to go on holiday like 364 days of the 365 days, right? Yeah, I and love then it. I'm like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, like it's it's a good cash flow property. Um, like when he saw it, he was like, he held himself. You know, he was. I'll tell. He was like, oh, oh, okay, it looks nice. And then when we got into our own space doing the numbers, he literally was like, I think we are about to become rich, and we are. Um, with good hard work. So yeah, it's it's about us people that have time and passion for property, mm -hmm. purposing it into an income purposing it into something that we find interesting and looking back and saying, I did it. Um, so one day we'll look back and say, how could we two people um, that were being mentored uh, at the time, how could we own a block of flats? I think mm -hmm. that will be magnificent to look back at and work together. And then, um, so my nuggets are almost done. The other one is... Um, <laughs> Um, why am I speaking about it? Right. What am I, what am I saying? Why am I speaking about it? I feel everybody, um, Jenna, you know, I'm honest, you know, you know, call it spade um, a spade. <laughs> spade a spade. I feel everybody is selling something, right? Um, as much as I'm the queen of flip, I count my coins very well. Um, I don't spend what I don't understand I'm spending on. Um, I don't spend money where I don't see value, right? Um, my advice to you would be understand what you need. Um, because I always say, if I spend 10 cents on this thing, will it multiply and how much would it multiply with? Um, if you spend your time and if you invest into Jenna's uh, um, property invest, pro no, you're not a property investor, property mentorship, right? Um, the question is, what would I get back from it? Um, my guarantee, if you're dedicated, would be you would learn that you are capable of far more than you would have ever imagined. You are able to bridge the gap between um, 
flipping one, two, three houses that I would do to saying I can own something greater than that, or I can do 10 of those, or I can find systems. You would actually, I feel you can turn something into a remote business if you do it well. So yeah, guys, and yeah, and you'd love and you'd love her her company as well. So that's it. I'm done. Oh, wow. Two minutes. Guys, <laughs> I am hiring you guys for marketing shame. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> Drop the mic. I'm hiring you guys for marketing. Because <laughs> I feel like I want to meet Jenna already. <laughs> Thank you so much, um, Tolo. You, I love the fact that you always got notes and you speak to each point to your heart content. So I'm so glad that you were able to use the floor that way. So thank you so far, Colleen and Tolo and our group. <laughs> your parting words, your nuggets that you'd like to share with everybody. They've all they've taken all my nuggets, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> we should have started with if, you first, day. Eh? If you're closer, I would have pinched them and said, no, no, don't say that. No, no, don't say that. That is my point. <laughs> yeah. I think the the what one has learned or can share with everyone is that, um, you know, take the negative, I'm gonna call it a negative. Uh, I think what is basically happening with COVID-19, uh, it's more of a negative and you, you turn it around. Uh, you know, it, it was an opportunity for, for one to learn as much as possible. Yes. And, uh, and I think if it wasn't for COVID-19, we would not have won this competition by the way. So we would not have won. We wouldn't have embarked on this uh, on this journey uh, with the journey. Uh, so so so, but it's also about turning the uh, what ordinarily is the negative into into positive, uh, because there are focus in terms of where people. Nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow, but we can you know prepare. We can prepare for the worst. We can also prepare in case it becomes it becomes good. So we all it's all about preparation, and you need to do your preparation now. Uh, so if 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 the property market collapses, uh, you know, so to say, uh, you know, how prepared are you? And uh, when everyone is selling, uh, you know, as an investor, it's, it's an opportunity for you to go in. When people are running away, so what you see, you see an opportunity. You see opportunity. Mm -hmm. So you go and buy uh, when people are selling them because you'll actually get an investment price. Uh, so, but I think uh, what I always see on Facebook on a lot of groups that I'm part of, uh, you know, people would say, "I've got hundred thousand. How do I begin with my property thing? I've got one million. How do I begin with my property mm. thing?" I think what is important is education. Uh, uh, you know, to educate yourself uh, because without uh, education, you'll pay a very, you know, pay a very high school fee uh, because the money that you will lose, I call it a school fee, uh, the money that you will lose if you are not investing, if you don't invest in education, uh, will be very, it will be a lot. Uh, so I would say invest in education, uh, invest in mentorship, invest in a coach. Uh, because the problem that you have, someone has had that problem before. Uh, what you want to do, someone wanted to do that, and uh, they've bent their finger. So go and learn from them, so that you don't repeat every same mistake uh, that they did. So go and learn from them. So you definitely need a mentor, because basically a mentor and a coach is someone who has walked that gym, uh, who would tell you that uh, the numbers actually don't make sense. Uh, who tell you that, uh, you know, I forget about how beautiful the cat and rainbow, forget about how beautiful that garden looks. It's not about that, it's about, uh, we always say we, you know, as property investors, we buy with a calculator. We don't buy with emotion. Okay, it's not, emotion. It's, not a it's not a property that you're going to say. So you buy with a calculator and say, does it make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you've got a spreadsheet, does it make sense? And the beauty about it is, you know, you can always bounce it with your coach and say, this is what I have found. Uh, can you tell me independently that it makes sense? Because sometimes you may want the deal to work, uh, 
uh, because you have invested emotionally into the deal. You've liked it because the paint, is, you know, it looks good. It's the color that you've never seen before. It's the color that you've always liked. But remember, it's all about investing. Uh, so that, uh, you know, it should be able to, to, to make you money. Uh, so, you know, it may be a color that you like, but the next person may not even like that color. And it could be a very expensive color, uh, but your potential tenant may not even like that color. They may come and say, no, I want it, uh, I want it blue, whatever color it is, I'm color blind. So I want you to change that. So it, it, it could be a very expensive pain. Uh, so, so invest in property coach, uh, invest in mentorship. Uh, you know, if you've got 100,000, I would rather say, you know, but also do your research on the, on the, on the, the mentors and the, and the coaches that are out there. What is 100%. their portfolio? Can they talk the talk? Can they walk the journey? So, so, so invest, you know, in as much as we say invest in your coaches and uh, in mentorship, uh, find out about them uh, because you don't want to, you know, throw uh, more than 40,000 rands into a bottomless pit like some people have done and uh, unfortunately you don't have anything to 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 show for mm. so 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 it has to be a coach who has worked or who is even working the journey by the way not about someone who who did that because what happened 10 years ago 10 years ago we didn't have covid how do you respond to covid now uh, because 10 years ago it, perhaps it was smooth sailing what 2008 we okay more than yeah. Spanish. Yeah, 2008 when it was the the, the the financial crisis. So how did that how did that particular person uh, deal with that? And how what is the response at the moment? You know, is it someone who's going to say, "Don't buy. Uh, let's wait until we know what is happening with COVID," or is it someone who's going to say, "In that crisis that we are in, there are opportunities. There are deals to be made. There are people who are currently making deals. And some of them have not even yep. the Yes, you say." Yep. Send me the pictures, then let me have a look at it outside. Let me sign, so they offer to purchase. Uh, I will come and view it afterwards. Some will say, you know, and I don't even need to see that because it actually makes sense. Uh, even if you, you know, numbers, don't, I mean, you, the property does not make sense. But based on the pictures that I have seen, I'm not even going to spend that much. Um, so, yeah, but uh, I think the question that uh, people may ask themselves is, can they, I'm not a coach, by the way, I'm not a, I'm not a mentor. Uh, but this is my personal belief. Uh, it is, you know, can you invest now? I'll say definitely yes. Uh, but you have to do your own due diligence. You have to get your, Absolutely. get a mentor, get a coach who will guide you, uh, work with you on that journey uh, because you don't want to make mistakes. Uh, you don't want to lose that uh, last saving uh, uh, money uh, that you have uh, because once it's gone, it's, uh, it's gone. You're not going to get it. Uh, I think that's 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 what I would I would I can share with the people from you know, from the journey thus far. Oh wow, you guys are absolutely simply amazing. I want to say thank you so much for feeding back. I just felt that when I was thinking, how could we boost everybody for this week ahead? It's a working week ahead. Some people have gone back to work as of the first of May, uh, more than what you know that that have been at work before. And how could we just encourage everyone? So I want to say to everyone in the community, I trust that you've been encouraged. Um, these guys have touched three lessons of eight lessons so far. We spent properly, I could say anything between seven, eight, eight hours together already, if not longer. And they're going to meet virtual Jenna and me this week again. So that's going to be awesome. So literally marking halfway through the actual coaching. The coaching tonight was not the message. The message was about what have we learned so far in the, in the, in the um, coaching. And you three have eloquently shared that. So ladies and gents, I want to say thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you for hearing from those that said, pick me. And they were the first three. Nobody backed out ever since then. I want to say that tonight, this is, is our way of just sharing with you. Hey guys, we on track. And um, I'd like to already make the commitment that when we hit week seven, post week seven, we, we should do another gathering like that because week eight is at one-on-one -on -one time. 
but you never know. Each of them may just decide hey, it's going to be a group we. We just don't know where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> we just right. don't know. <laughs> so yeah, you know, it's it's been absolutely awesome. Five weeks ago, I didn't know Colleen, Lasetia, or Tolo. But if you say to me tomorrow um, that, you know, Jen, like, how do you feel about these guys? I was saying five weeks, no, man, you can't count. This is the way it feels like, like the connection that is there. And that's the other important thing. And as much as Lasetia shared about get a coach, get a mentor, there's two things I want to back him up to say. Get a, a mentor or a coach that's passionate about the subject for starters there must be the the track record must be evident so i'm with you there because yes there's a lot of people that do try coaching their their handed coaching or whatever they do they, they know why they do from their circumstances right but if you get somebody that's passionate and that's got a track record i think for me those are the two things that complement where you're going to because it's not every mentor or coach that you are going to get along with right There'll be people that may have gone through coaching with me and they may have said, you know what? Ah, she's extra. She's loud. She pushes me. She, she, she prods me. She asks too many questions and they may find another mentor and they'll sing nice lullabies together, but they get the work done. Personalities differ. Mm -hmm. And this is also why I encourage a discovery call before I even have coaching. I don't get somebody's money before I have a discovery call with them. Why? Because I want to know we gel. I want to know there's a connection. So Lissetia, you are spot on that people need to do due diligence on their future coach and their future mentor alike. And yeah, and, and so on that note, ladies and gents, I want to say thank you so much. If you've got any questions uh, along the line, drop it in this group around, uh, around coaching, around property investing and things of that nature. Do drop those, those, those posts and I promise to get back to them as soon as possible. And Team Orson, I'm sure most of them, they get to those posts before me, actually. I see you guys. <laughs> I'm like, these are fingers. <laughs> so, yeah. That is why it was pick me. <laughs> yeah, and it was the pick me fast fingers that got you guys here, right? So, yeah, on that closing note, I just want to oh. encourage everyone that, is, that has got a sentiment of an entrepreneur, uh, the entrepreneur hat on, looking at the circumstances that we're going through, this week and i'll share it on facebook because i i realize now i'm talking about it but i didn't put that announcement up in the cover so this week um at seven o'clock for two uh two days we're going to go through just the emotional well-being of an entrepreneur how we position our goods because everyone's got a story to tell and how do you tell your story to connect with people before you start pushing your goods on them because just think about it for a moment where you are right maybe i could just ask you guys if somebody keeps on saying buy this buy this buy this buy this m m most of the time i just feel like hell no just get away from me right how do you feel when somebody pushes their products on you I'm, only you three can answer me the others <laughs> they can argue they can throw comments <laughs> Well, remember when we started this, I told you about that, you know, the whole the Tupperware, Tupperware thing, yes. and Avon and stuff. I don't need it. Yeah. So, 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 <laughs> so if I want it, buy. yeah, if um, I want it, I'm going to look for you. I'm going to come you, you, and ask you, do you sell it? Because I need but, it. But, but, but if somebody not, you know, came to you, it. yeah, but so if somebody came to you and positioned things differently, and this is what we're going to be touching on this week in entrepreneurship. How are we going to position our wares differently? So whether you're positioning your sourcing wares, which is your proposals, or you're positioning an actual product, this week, for the very first time, I've never done this. I like the first, okay? I've never done this. The coaching program that I've got that people outside of South Africa pay $197 that's what we're going to be teaching in the next three days for free for Grata. Why? It's part of giving Ooh. back. Okay. <laughs> so in this week, that's what I'm saying. I'm just remembering. I didn't update it on, on the cover. So for those of you that have joined this evening, join the next couple of evenings, guys. I'm going to pray and hope that uh, 
connections don't show me flames. I'll have MTN as a backup, as a hotspot if I need to. But in this week, for two days, I'm going to unpack it until the cows come home. And the third day, yes. literally going to workshop some stuff, okay? So this week, 7.30 on this group. Let's see what we can do from a, an entrepreneur point of view. How, how, how is it better that we get first in touch with why we're doing what we're doing before forcing our products on the next person? So that's closing off the property, coaching feedback, and opening a new week of awesomeness because month, the month of May is all about entrepreneurship. How do we position ourselves so that we can stand ahead above the rest, serve people, before we just say, buy me, buy me, buy me, buy me. <laughs> cool. So ladies and gents, I think the three of the four of us could say bye in shortly, but for everybody else that's joined on Facebook, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your data, because I know you've also been listening to a lot of different other stuff as well. You be good, be awesome. And from Team Awesome, let's say goodbye to everybody. Take good care. Toodles. Bye, guys. <laughs> I love it.